Oh, he changed the channel. I'm watching this. Change. I am channel. Thank you, please. Today, Sydney's beaches was a scene of mobs yelling racist chants. What the biggest race is done by in the people who have been in the Our community and does not believe they respect the law. I feel sick. It's federal. I feel sick. Right in my dad. And when I look at my dad's face, my brother's face, they came running when they heard the voices yelling, Go homeless. I know they feel the same way. The crowd is meant to have picked the 5,000. Many carrying strange flags and wearing strange shirts. Sections of the media took this issue far too far, and one can only surmise the issues dealt with on Talk Radio. At least three young men were singled out. Their clothes torn as they fled. Two of the men took refuge in Dolly's Park, where police were forced to report photos. Go on, Lex! The dog was going inside. Chin it, picked up by the crowd around him. This was our beach. This was our home. And if we'd been down there this morning, or in all these a couple of hours earlier, we would have been dealt with. We, the community, never want police to say spurs. Instead, we want police to surround thugs, arrest them, charge them, <coughs> and lock them up. And when my brother asks, so they hate us then? No one answers. Because, yeah, it sounds like they do. That night, me and my brothers and all the other walks you know, head down to Oakley's instead of Norby's. Open this attack. They're raking it in. They're raking it in for a bunch of sad people too scared to go to the mother tonight. Heard of the drug deal from Ron. That was a bunch of lifesavers who got bashed and tasted their mates. I reckon it was meant to be peaceful. Just a celebration. Of what? Being a drunk and racist yacht. And it goes on like that all night. Your fault, their fault, my fault. But the next morning. Monday. I wake up and I think. It's a hot day. I've got the morning off. I feel like a swim and a coffee. Fuck it. Going to Cronulla. T-shirt slogans noted at the Cronulla riots. 2005, December 11. No legs! Walk free zone. We grew here, you flew here. Say Mala, ethnic cleansing unit. Aussie pride. Offence directly associated with the Cronulla rights are reported in the following areas. Cronulla, Garubra, Bluewerth, Arnfield, Brightly Sands, Ashfield, Bankstown, <laughs> Punchbowl. Charges made during the Cronulla rights include malicious damage, resisting arrest, hindering police. Assaulting police, possession of prohibited drugs, afraid, driving in dangerous manner. I'm standing on the stand at Cronulla. Mid morning, fresh and clean, I'm wearing my sarong over my shoulders with my beach bag slung over my shoulder. <coughs> the breeze is blowing spring to the air, and I breathe it in. And the sun is so hot. It's stinging my face. This is my beach. This is my home. I come here for peace and to feel good about my place in the world. I come here because I, I relax in the rock pool, because I hang out in all these because I drink plush in the tiny coffee shop. But most of all, because it's beautiful. <coughs> but even so, there's a vibe. Heavy. Yes. Talk. Yes. Why something's happened here? Something's happened here, yes. Here. Yes, here. And you know, I've swum my laps. And I've drunk my coffee. Something's happened. I think I was gonna go. This place is dead anyway. You say that again, and you know that the coffee shop. He knows you. Oh my god, you just said the ski flat line. He is, yeah, it's sort of a joke. He doesn't believe in skin But today is not the thing in your life. Yeah, look, it's a Monday, and the beach is dead, and I have so my last. And I've drunk my coffee. So I'm starts to walk back to the car. Pub. 
between the rock pools and the main beach. She sees these two girls walking in a direction. They're going one way and going the other. No drama. Two girls. Yes, and then one. They were about 20. Just as you pass them. Just as I pass them, we stop. And we look at each other. And one of them says, Go home, you fucking wall. Go home, you fucking wall. And then she... <laughs> and then she spat. And she starts. And I'm stunned. And amazed. I'm planning to walk calmly back to my car. Go home. This is our home. And where do you get the fucking authority to tell someone else to go home? So I agree. With them, and the dickheads on TV yesterday, and the dickheads who got in their cars and drove around looking for people to bash. But most of all, I feel angry with you. The ground I'm standing on that I thought, and my family thought, was common. I feel as though the very ground I'm standing on is betrayed. <coughs> 2006.